Hi everybody! My name is Kim Bernard. I'm an artist making sculpture that is recycled, interactive, kinetic, involves the community, and is for the public. For years now, I've been struggling with the dilemma of using raw materials to make art and feeling hypocritical that I advocate to reduce, reuse, and recycle, yet use raw materials in my own work. This year, I took a pledge not to buy anything new or throw anything away. Most recently, I've been using recycled materials to make art, ocean debris, bicycle inner tubes, bowling balls, and reusable nylon bags, for example. This accounts for a fraction of my work, but my goal is to have 100% of my sculptural work be created out of recycled materials, ideally out of a material that can be shaped, molded, colored, and is durable. So what's the big idea, you say? I'm embarking on a big plastic upcycling project where I'll be turning plastic trash into sculptural installations that inspire and raise awareness about preserving our precious natural resources. So what's the plan, you ask? I'm excited to say that my four machines are built in my studio, and now I just need to pay the $5,000 credit card bill for them. The four machines are compact and portable, allowing me to create upcycled plastic sculptural installations in schools, art centers, neighborhood communities, and public settings, where the local community will, after being encouraged to collect plastic, deposit their plastic waste into one end of the machine, and a new malleable plastic will emerge from the other end. Kind of like a giant Play-Doh pump. I will then, with the participation of the community, use the newly upcycled, extruded and molded plastic to create on-location sculptural installations. I'm currently learning all the different ways that I can coil build with the extruded plastic and create molds to fill with plastic. Here are some of the designs for installation that I've created. Potential communities and settings might include K-12 schools, colleges, universities, art centers, businesses, restaurants, cafes, libraries, museums, parks, pop-ups, first Fridays, events, celebrations, festivals, maker fairs, open air markets, conferences, protests, parade, and of course, workshops. In all scenarios, the public will bring their plastic to the designated location where we will shred, inject, compress, and extrude upcycled plastic into sculptural parts to be included in the sculptural installation. The parts would then be installed based on a site-specific design that I create. Who benefits? The public will benefit in the following ways. Access to free public sculptural installations for communities that might not typically go to a museum or a gallery. Participation in the creative process by collecting plastic for recycling. Raising awareness about our overconsumption of plastic. Raising awareness of how important it is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And workshops where students can recycle their own plastic and turn it into sculpture or other functional items. My audience will be the public and local communities of all ages. As a visiting artist, I will engage a group of participants in a plastic collection effort, then teach them how to process it into a new form. The machines are only one component of a much larger initiative to create art using recycled materials that transcend their trashy history. Thus far, I've received a $1,500 project grant from the Maine Arts Commission and a $5,000 grant from the Kindling Fund, but I still have at least another $5,000 to raise, hopefully here through Kickstarter with your support. If by chance I raise more than my $5,000 goal, the excess will provide funding for me to be a visiting artist in low-income, high-risk, 
educational settings to provide creative, hands-on programming for youth. I hope you'll jump on the recycling bandwagon, be part of a creative solution, and support my 